Good morning, my faithful or YouTube subscribers. This is my new Instagram page, Walter L. Hampton 2. Please make sure to subscribe to it as my last page got ate by the coronavirus. Good afternoon, my faithful or your YouTube subscribers. Today it is Monday, Monday, August the 10th. The year is 2020. And the coronavirus still exists. It hasn't vanished or disappeared. Uh, tragically, a young man passed away here in Atlanta. Um, he was in his late 20s, early 30s. Late 20s. Um, he died from COVID-19. Well-known individual uh, passed away. He was known for having... Um, Uh, sex parties, sex orgies, um, in, he was just well-known event planner who would have all these sex parties and stuff. So, um, he got sick from COVID-19 a few weeks ago. Um, he got sick a few weeks ago and he died. Uh, he had been having parties and events throughout since the pandemic got started. He did not slow down one inch. And he is deceased now. Uh, I'm not going to go into names and all this other stuff. You know, you got people running around here, everybody men and all their feelings, but this young man knew that we were in the middle of a pandemic. We've all been warned repeatedly how it has spread through close contact with other people. Um, we've all been told about social distancing. We all been told about wearing a mask. I don't know if it's possible to wear a mask while at a sex party. I guess if you're getting your ass tore from the rear, I guess you could have a mask on while somebody, about eight other people are banging your ass out. Well, that makes about most sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's still violating the social distancing rule there. And it hasn't been proven if um, COVID-19 can be spread by not practicing safe sex and wearing a condom. If you're getting your ass toe up raw, there's some risk of coronavirus, COVID-19, HIV, chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, herpes, and a few other things. They don't care about that. Now that is at a place in history... Um, I've never seen so much to, I don't believe in demons and angels and all that stuff, but something's going on here that just doesn't make sense. I've never seen so many guys who are just caught up in sexual addiction. I saw a post on Facebook, Facebook a day ago where this guy was talking about some he had been screwed by three different guys that day. Nice looking brother. And he proudly was bragging about how he had three different dicks in his ass on three separate occasions that day. It's just, uh, where are the decent guys at? Where are the decent brothers? They don't exist. When these guys touch down in Atlanta, and I don't care where they come from, they get so caught up in the sex and the behaviors in this town. And here's the funny part they act like they're so innocent. Nah. Well, Ty would never do that. I'm just home studying for school. You know, I've just been studying all night long. Mm, yeah, studying, you're studying for school with your ass tooted up in the ass and 12 niggas lined up, tearing your ass up. But what school are you studying for? They act like they're so innocent. No, I would never do that. I don't do any of that type of stuff. I've heard about this type of stuff. And then, then I see the video. I'd be scrolling along. I'd be like, oh. I thought you was in school studying. What, what happened to that? 
So Atlanta is a town, and I'm sure that a lot of you all are going to say this happening everywhere, and it probably is happening everywhere, but it's something about Atlanta in particularly that makes you wonder. These guys in Atlanta, their minds are so caught up. Their minds are so caught up with sex, 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 and this ain't just started. This is not new. Everybody I meet running around, oh, he got a big dick. Oh, I'm chasing, got a fat ass. Oh, he got this. Oh, he got that. He got this, they all fat ass broke. No money. Can't do nothing. It's just very odd. No money. Barely surviving, but you got time to chase 13,000 dicks all over the land. Or 13,000 assholes. Everybody's the top, bottom, this, that. You don't even know their name, but before you know their sexual position. And go to the gym and try to work out in peace, forget about it. These horny motherfuckers on top of you like right on rice. I'm not a bad looking person. I like to think I'm, you know. I think I'm, I don't think I'm, you know, I, I know I need to shape my beard up and stuff. I was letting it grow and it is growing and stuff. So I, 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 I know I'm missing a few teeth. I'm going to go get them put in after the pandemic pass. Yeah, I could use a little scrub and, you know, I got some hair going on a few places that probably shouldn't be growing. But God put it there as so I left it there. But it's ridiculous. How these guys chase you down to this gym and the shit that come out their fucking mouth. Where you going when you leave here? I'm going home. I'm in a hotel across the street. Yeah, me and a friend want you for you. Come join me and a friend. Well, join you and a friend at what hotel? What are you doing over there? Is Bible study over there? I'm not really into Bible study this time of day. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. What's going on with this hotel with you and a friend? After a while, I don't take any of this stuff personal. Because I know it's a de demonic spirit over this town. I don't believe in that stuff. I'm just, just using that for, you know, just to say. But there's something, something odd is going on here. Where are the decent brothers? Where are they? Where are the decent women? How can these people proudly talk about having had multiple dicks up their ass in one day by multiple different men? <laughs> and brag about it. Don't go on the Twitter. Twitter, you know, I, it's funny because I'll scroll through Twitter and uh, people are going to do what they want to do. I don't care. But I'll scroll through Twitter and I know these people. I recognize them. I know this person and that person and this person and that person. I see them in the gym. I see him at the Walmart. I see him walking around. I see all the. I, I, they've been to my home. Uh, they buy supplements from me. I don't know what to say. There's no. There's no other way to make an income but having show yourself how raw sex. On the internet with these OnlyFans account, that's it. That's the only way people can come up with income is to walk around with your dick and ass out on 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 Instagram. I mean, on um, fans only and post it on um, Twitter. Twitter has become a sex site. Where's the creativity? You have to wonder what happens to all the creative gays. People who could do stuff, whether it was dancing, singing, art, uh, musicians, um, playwrights. Where did they go? Why are we stuck with this trash? And, uh, and forgive me for calling these guys trash, but this is just starting to get rather odd that so many people feel like this is the only way they can make an income 
is to get butt ass naked and jack off and get screwed in the ass on video on 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 on, 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 on is the fans only only fans I can never I can never forget it's only fans no other way to earn an income nothing else you can do so the only thing you can do in Atlanta is escort do porn fans only strip. There are no other opportunities here. I'm serious. There's got to be some, something else you can do. There's got to be something else that you can do. There's got to be some talent somewhere in this damn town. Tyler Perry cannot be the only homosexual with some talent in this city. There's got to be other folks too. But I just look at people. And of course, I'm criticized. But I ain't got my ass thrown up on, 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 on front of a video camera and 15 niggas lined up ready to tear my ass up. I wouldn't be able to sit down for weeks. I'd probably be limping to the doctor's office. He'd be like, what happened to you? Oh, 15 niggas tore my ass up. Oh, Lord, 15 of them, 15 niggas. Yeah, you wouldn't even know what your antibiotics to go to. After your ass been told by 15 different niggas, I can imagine the doctor that they go to see don't even know which antibiotics begin when they just start injecting antibiotics and their ointments and cream and bacteria killer and fungus killer and everything else. Just put a put a whole all in there. If you think I'm lying, just get your Twitter account and and, and start scrolling like I'm doing right now. And I'm seeing quite an eyeful, and it keeps refreshing. Just refresh. Here's some more. And you just keep refreshing. And you see the same thing. Nice looking guys. Not bad. I guess ugly guys probably wouldn't, shouldn't be on Instagram doing this type of shit. But I've seen a couple of ugly ones too that really shouldn't have been on there. I'm like, um. Yo, you might want to go on back to fries, back to fries at Burger King. And you shouldn't have did this at all. Really makes you wonder. You got couples. That's another thing. So, I, I didn't realize so many women would involve themselves with bisexual men and didn't record this stuff. I'm seeing a lot of women, a lot of women, a lot of women, a lot of women having sex scenes with two guys, and the guy eating her pussy, while the other guy getting fucked. I'm seeing a lot of this, and I'm just thinking, okay, and the people say, sex, sex, sexual fluidity, is what they say. Nobody's using a condom. Nobody's using protection. I've had people, friends of mine, say, "I'm not watching no porn if they don't if, if they have condoms on." I said, "Okay." I, me personally, I'm not really a porn watcher, but if I do see a condom on the porn and, or somebody wearing a condom, I, feel, I said, "Fine." And somebody with some sense. I prefer my con my my porn with condoms if I'm going to watch it. The porn doesn't really do nothing for me. It just never has. It just, I don't know. It takes a, it, it takes a special type of person to really get into porn and enjoy it and use it to, I, I, I don't know. But I am very curious to know, when did all these women decide to have sexual, um... Um, sex with two men, two bisexual guys, and who is this? This boy's getting on my nerves. It just makes you wonder when did so many women 
black women at that, which, you know, race really shouldn't matter, but it's just odd to me to see so many women involved in pornography or homemade porn and is this her boyfriend and who's the other guy and all this shit going on they both fucking her and then they fucking each other one dick from go from the pussy to the asshole go from his asshole to her pussy no kind of like what's going on here does anyone care about any type of bacteria fungus virus COVID anything And everybody I meet, every guy I meet, they the biggest hoes who woof, brag about all the shit they do. Fucking, 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 fucking. But broke, 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 ain't got a damn thing. They are broke. Ain't got shit. That dick in your pants brings no value. You cannot take a mortgage out on it. I don't care how big it is. You can't run that dick up to any of these places and take out a second line of credit or anything on it. Not so they ran the OnlyFans where they think they're going to get to pay their bills. I'm going to do me OnlyFans page. I'm not knocking it. Do what you have to do. I'm just trying to understand it. Is there not anything else that these guys can do? Nothing. I mean, this is page after page. I mean, how much money can, how much money can, are people making off this stuff? Page after page after page after page. All different individuals. You'll be scrolling here forever. There's thousands of people doing this stuff. Thousands. And you see the occasional one. I made a hundred. I bought a house and a car and the hills. And I moved to Hawaii. Off of OnlyFans page. The niggas I see in Atlanta who do only fans, I see them hopping out of Ubers all over town, going into low end restaurants, picking up their little shit and going, get back into that Uber and going wherever they're going. It's a film shoot. I would think if I was putting, if me and my partner, or me and Earl, we over here making porn, we at least have enough money to go. We, we gonna do this type of shit and put ourselves out here. Can we at least drive a Bentley? I mean, I got a Mercedes out there, but God damn. <laughs> One would hope, but uh, maybe I'm going to like people here, materialistic. Yeah, I can assure you all, you're not gonna see me on the, nobody's video having no sex with nobody no time soon. Ever. There's just there's so much other between the other ways you can make money. There's so many other options. There are a ton of options. And there's so much more to do with your life besides laying up getting fucked in the ass from sun up to sundown. God damn, give your asshole a rest. Let it take a break. It's ridiculous. How much fucking can your ass take? I mean, did you gonna let run up in there and bust a nut and flood you out? Don't that thing run out of air at some point? I mean, at some point, I'm sure it says, okay, an alarm goes off back there and says, mm -hmm, overheating. Air's holding overheated. You gotta go sit, and sit down for the next 24 hours. Something don't make sense here. You know, it's, y'all, y'all think I'm bullshitting. I'm lying and making this up. It's some holes in this town. When I go to the gym, I try to do my little workout and get in and out of there, but oh, the holes come. They follow you to your car. They leave a note on the car. They follow you over to Kroger afterwards, up to the gas station when you leave. And maybe you're in Walmart minding your fucking business just trying to find some cheap toilet tissue. And there they are. What you doing? 
Oh, I'm just toilet tissue top, top, shopping, trying to find a, the best toilet tissue for my money right about now. Oh, okay. What you doing? You leave here. When I get to buy my toilet tissue, I, I was going to, I guess I was going to take it home and try it out and see if I got the best toilet tissue for my money. Why? What's going on? Wow, I got some better plan. I'm staying over at the Red Roof Inn. The Red Roof Inn? Yeah. That's not, you're at the Red Roof Inn. Okay, so you are, you're inviting me to your room at the Red Roof Inn. Niggas can't even go get a nice mid scale upstairs to the hotel. Can you? Hampton Inn? They want the cheapest thing they can get so they can lay up there and fuck all day and night. I could tell y'all some stories, but I sure don't want to. Uh, <laughs> All these innocent people are right here. We ain't innocent. We don't do nothing. We just play video games all night long. Mm. I am not that naive and stupid. But again, I get tired of the trash in Atlanta. It's a whole lot of trash in this town. Oh my God, there's some trash in this town. You be thinking you just struck gold, fool's gold. I love that song by what's her name? She came out a few years ago. Um... What are the artists who seen fools go? Sometimes you need to sit, I have to sometimes sit down and play it sometime. Um, not Erica Badu, the other chick. Um, what is her name? I can't think of her name. But she had a song called Fools Go. When did they hit? But it was on her, one of her records. Um, I can't think of her name. Yeah, they ain't never come out That's the crazy part. I know this girl's name. I'm sure some of y'all have read her, her, her song. One Direction did it too, but this ain't the one I'm talking about. Anyway. Um... What is that girl? I can't think of her name. Anyway. There's a, there's a lot of trash out here, y'all. Nice looking trash. Guys that could be doing something positive. And don't even that get me started on that whole Instagram. Insta, Insta, Instagram scam page. All the lies you see up and down Instagram don't make no damn sense. If you are interested in getting to know somebody and you have met them through Instagram, beware. Beware. Instagram is full of shit. It is the most deceiving social media out there. All in pictures, staged photographs, and somebody is just a bunch of it's just a lie after lie after lie after lie. And if you're not careful, you will fall for the deception. Do not. That Instagram bullshit. Mm -mm. Somebody Instagram. And the way these niggas. Ooh, boy. And if you're looking for somebody in the black community who's a black, good black guy who's strong, who's about family and orientated and try to do something positive in their life, you better drive over to Africa. You might meet one over there. I'm telling you, because these niggas in America have lost their minds. So, I mean, are there some family orientated, orientated men here? A very small few. Very small few. The vast majority of these guys, something is going terribly awry. In our community, the in between them hunting for sex from sun up to sundown and risking their lives from STDs and everything else, I don't know what to say. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. I just keep my distance. That's all I can do. But anyway, this video is a lot longer than I wanted it to be. 
Um, today it is the 10th of August. It's hot. I need to turn this air up. Today is the 10th of August. The year is 2020. And I'm about to fold and wash some, some clothes and go my ass to bed. It's 8, eight o'clock at night. But today is August the 10th, eh? It is August the 10th. Monday, August 10th, 10th 2020. We love to hear you all's thoughts about the sex demons here in town. I mean, I, I, we know demons don't exist. But something odd is going on. Something very strange is going on here. And it's hard to even put my finger on um, so many people who, um, deal, who are dealing with sexual addiction and fetishes and we're the normal people. They just don't exist anymore. They just don't exist. Anyway, I'm out of here. Enjoy your Monday. Look forward to reading you all's comments. I'm out. Bye.